Hey everyone, my name is Lauren Watson. I am a Sensi Independent Consultant and I wanted to show y'all how I'm putting together my January 2022 um, blue bonnet boxes or uh, you might also have heard them called scent crates or since he has their own version of this called a whiff box so um, it's basically just a mystery box um, curated by me and um, I just choose a theme for the month and then um, my price point is always $25 um, I'm always able to put in extras because of um, bundling and saving and or buying things when they're on sale and so yeah so that's it so my theme this month is cheers to 2022. So um, I enjoy a nice cocktail. So I hope um, I hope my subscribers do as well. So um, the first thing I'm gonna put in is the um, sample and flyer of the month for January. It's called Better Together, and the um, scent is Sun Ripened Berry. So um, it has a scratch and sniff here with um, a wax sample inside the bag, all the information inside. So I will um, just tuck that in right here in the back of the box. My boxes normally aren't this hefty. Um, I'm actually reusing some of Sensi's Whiff Box boxes that I've kept um, because I had some bulkier items going into it. So otherwise I normally just use a box I don't know about that big so um, that's number one that's actually going to be the only sample I put in this box uh, because like I said I'm filling it up um, pretty good uh, with extras um, outside of Scentsy stuff so the second thing I'm putting in is a coupon for a future box if you um, refer somebody to um, to get a box then you'll get $5 off of um, your next box. So I'll tuck that in right alongside the sample. I've already pre-filled this with some uh, crinkle, crinkle paper that I have. Um, and so I'll um, flatten and lift and squish and add more um, as needed. So let me think, how did I do the order of the last ones? So the first uh, bar I'm putting in is cherry limeade um this was going to go with this little extra so we're going to put that right here oh and i also printed off some uh, recipe cards that i found online uh for different um for different cocktails so I'm gonna put the recipe card underneath underneath the bar. That way when they lift it up, um, they're gonna be able to see it. I'll put the, um, the bottle of alcohol in in just a second once I kind of organize the rest. Um, the second bar I'm putting in is banana nut bread. And while this one is not um, cocktail related, it is um, the history of Scentsy. So, um, you know, my understanding anyway, is that the, this was the, um, the first, well, I shouldn't say first, it's the scent that made it all happen. So, um, when Orville walked into his house and smelled banana bread, banana bread baking, he thought, um, that Heidi was making banana bread. Those are our, um, Scentsy owners. And then he didn't, uh, he realized that it was actually, she was warming a bar and um, anyway, that's it. So then that's um, kind of how the company took off. So um, anyway, so I'm putting that in there um, and then I'm gonna cover that up just a little bit. I have a printout that will go on the top of um, Heidi's um, mom's banana bread recipe and a little story about what I just told you, but that'll go in um, in a minute. So I put that um, bar more towards the back and kind of covered it up a little. Um, the next thing I'm gonna put in is a bottle of Prosecco. And you'll see why in just a minute. So put that just right here on the edge. And what will go with that is room spray of pomegranate Prosecco. So we'll just tuck that in right next to it. 
and oh you know what I forgot my little picture of a pomegranate Prosecco so I'm going to put that right underneath the bottle of Prosecco okay that one doesn't have a recipe on it it's simply um just a cute picture okay um the next thing is so that's so that's three items so far two bars and the room spray the last um scentsy item that's going to go in and it's deconstructed so um is going to be the paloma mini warmer i am giving them um their box i'm not putting the um so the box has all of the um the plug in it, the little washer, the light bulb. I'm gonna just give them this with all the extras inside of it because I didn't want to try to cram all that into this box and make it look crazy. Um, so I printed off a recipe for a Paloma. So yum, yum, love me some grapefruit. Um, so I'm gonna make a little well in here. Tuck that right in and then place the warmer right on top of it. And then what goes in a Paloma, but tequila. So that will go right next to the warmer. My customers are gonna be like, what the heck is happening? What did she give us? So hopefully they'll be excited. So this is what it looks like right now. Probably add a little bit more um, fluff and stuff, cover some things up, that way it looks, they don't see it all from the very get-go. Okay, what's next? Okay, so again, I have the, um, story I just told, um, uh, I found this online, and, um, my understanding is it's a pretty well-known story, so, um, anyway, printed that off, so that will go right on top. And then I always um, add just a little, a little flyer simply saying like kind of what's in the box and um, not necessarily why I chose it, but anyway, so I'm adding this, cheers to 2022, little note, what I've put in it, and then um, signed by me, cheers. Cheers to a fresh new start, happy new year. So I'm gonna put that right on the top and then I'm gonna add a little bit of confetti. This is big confetti, so hopefully it won't, um, you know, be making a mess for whoever opens it. But just something more fun for them to see and have. That's it. So when they open it, it will look like that. And then I close this up. Confetti on me. Okay. And then the last thing, I always do a, um, a printout for the tops of the boxes. And so um, I have sticker paper that you can print on. It's just like um, regular paper, but it's sticker. Um, this one's an Avery label. So anyway, this one I just did cheers uh, to 2022. And um, this one is coming off like that. This is sticky. And then I'm going to line it up right on the box where I want it. Give me a second. And that's it. And like I said, my boxes are not normally, so this is what it's going to look like when they get it. My boxes are normally not in these whip boxes. Um, they're just in a regular, um, and maybe a size of a shoe box, um, maybe a little bit smaller. I can't remember now, maybe like five by eight by three, um, I think. Um, so yeah, so these are my January um, Blue Bonnet boxes. Cheers to 2022. Um, and that's it. So if you are interested ever, in um, subscribing to one of my blue bonnet boxes. Um, I'll put a link, sorry, let me close that up, be quiet, um, in um, the description below. And otherwise, I hope you have a great 2022.